All right, this is gonna be a short video on how to make a chair in Gravity Sketch using some primitives and our sub-D editing features. The first thing we'll do is set up our scene. We'll do that by coming in and turning on our mirror. We'll turn on vertical lock just for the initial part here and we'll also turn on our grid. I'll leave the grid density at the lowest setting for now. And the we'll, next thing we'll do is jump over to our tools. We'll go to primitives. We'll select the sub-D primitives. So the, only the primitives that are highlighted will allow us to work in, in sub-D mode during editing. And we'll start laying down um, the base of our chair. So this will be the base of the chair. And then we'll jump into edit mode. In edit mode, we can come over and just add in a few rows here. We can pull this off our hand. And what these rows will allow us to do is essentially define where we put our seat chair legs. So now when we come in and edit, we can just grab that panel. That's going to be a leg. And we can do the same thing here. We could use the constrained movement here because we'll be doing the back as well. Okay, and then we'll also add in another section on this side. Constrain, move that over. Great. So that's kind of the, the basic layout for the chair. We can see it's kind of boxy. We're going to want to bring that out a little bit. So let's go ahead and pull that forward. It gives the chair a bit more depth. And we'll just play with proportions a bit. Pull the legs down a little bit. Looks about right. And we can quickly toggle into the subdivided, subdivided mode. And we'll turn the subdividing smoothing all the way up. And you can see here that there's a lot of uh, draft between the points. So one thing we're going to want to do is come over here and just add in a few more rows to tighten up the tension. And we'll do that all around. Great. And that looks like a more like a smoothed out version of the chair. Maybe something that would be like injection molding if this was a, an industrial design type of workflow. Yeah, that looks about right. Um, and then from here, we can be okay and just essentially save it like this. But we might want to tweak it a little bit more and finesse it. And we'll stay in, in the grid mode for this. So we'll come in and we'll actually push these guys out a little bit. Um, didn't like how that turned out, so we'll drag that back in. Maybe just push the top side out. And then we can pull the center bit out a little bit and pull this adjacent guy out just a little bit here. So we can create that nice um, loft. And we'll do the same thing with the, the chair legs. And so now it looks a little bit more comfortable, um, but a little bit suspect in some of these areas. So what we're going to do now is turn off the grid. We'll turn off vertical lock as well. And we'll come in and start editing in a little bit more organic manner just to get a nice feel for the curvature of the back. Maybe even lining this up a little bit better. Um, and then maybe adding a, str a, a strut in the back of the chair here. Something to support your back. So we'll pull that out. And we'll add another row here. And if you want to take it a bit further, you can do so. That's kind of like a classic chair. You might want to, again, tweak some of the curvature here. Um, but we can actually pull out a an armrest. So we'll do that with this guy here. And we'll just grab this guy, pull him out. And now we have an armrest to our chair. We might also want to create a strut here as well. And then tweak that a bit. So yeah, I mean, and then you could just kind of tweak to your heart's content, really. But that gives you the, the rough kind of idea of how to work with sub D in a really quick way using the grid.